Hello, thank you so much everyone for clicking on to this video. Today we're going to have a cute little chatty get ready with me. I thought that'd be cute for us just to answer some questions together. You guys have sent me some questions that you wanted to know, some boy dilemmas, period talk. We got some big questions. I also just ordered myself, it's just arrived, the new Starbucks drink. It's the strawberry acai refresher. I added in an extra pump of sugar-free vanilla syrup. I don't think it needs that because it's very sweet now. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it tastes like without the sugar-free pump. I don't know if I should have added that, but beautiful. Okay, so let's just dive on right in there. I've already moisturized my face, by the way. For moisturizer, I use the Boots Glow Moisturizing Cream. Oh my God, I feel like, like when I was watching Zoella and stuff. <laughs> um, it's this one. It's really inexpensive from Boots. I actually really like this one. It does smooth and hydrate your skin. So yeah, I like this one. Okay, let's start with something like not too juicy. We'll save those. I'm just putting on, by the way, some of the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I really like this foundation. It's so, like, sheer. It's really nice. But anyway, gym anxiety, talking to new people. Okay, I feel like everyone that goes to the gym gets this. I certainly get it, even now that I've been going to the gym for a few years. Um, especially surrounded, like, new machines or just, like, people that are around so i get this however what you need to remember is that everyone is at the gym for the same reason um you know they're not focusing on you because i always feel like we have this perception that everyone's looking at us but they're not everyone is literally just focusing on themselves i've went into the gym the first time i did a mic'd up video which is on my tiktok by the way um i I was thinking everyone's looking at me like I'm an absolute weirdo. They're like, who is this girl with a bloody tripod out and with a mic strapped to her? I don't think anybody noticed. Like genuinely, I don't think anybody noticed. I think the people that did were just the ones that were next to me and they said absolutely nothing about it. Like I thought I was gonna get, where's my concealer? I thought people was gonna be like, is this girl okay? But yeah, there was absolutely nothing. And I was like, this just proves that nobody cares about what you're doing in the gym like you're just doing you and i love that i'm going in by the way with the rimmel lasting radiance concealer um so genuinely yeah nobody cares so if you want to go in if you have a tripod do it if you have gym anxiety worried about what machine to use and you're worried about looking like an idiot we all have them moments to be honest i still have to look at machines and be like what actually does this machine do but it's nobody cares like ask for help or just like load up tiktok and look at how to use machine i do that all the time just don't worry about it because you get in your own head that you freak yourself out that much but it's not actually true this is really nice question number two do you regret going to uni <laughs> okay that's a big question um I feel like you've asked this question. I had a few people ask me like uni questions, like what are your opinions on uni? Do you regret going to uni? Stuff about uni. And I feel like this is because all I ever do on my Instagram is moan about uni. Um, no, I do not regret going to uni. In fact, I actually think it's probably once I graduate going to be one of my biggest achievements. The fact that I put myself through four years of hard work and I got out the other side. <laughs> But no, I do not regret going to uni. I do think everything happens for a reason. I'm very proud of the fact that I will, fingers crossed, in July be graduated and have a degree. Um, whilst the degree, so at uni I'm doing a law with business management course. Um, and I hate law, to be honest, I absolutely hate law. So I don't think I'll ever be going down the law route. And the current job that I've got at the moment is in digital marketing. So it's kind of utilizing the business management part, but not a lot, to be honest, um, of my degree. And I absolutely love my job. So I don't really see myself needing to ever, kind of like if I ever change jobs, I think it would still be in the same field of digital marketing. So I enjoy it so much. Um, but no, I don't, I don't regret going to uni. I think everything definitely happens for a reason. I took a gap year before I went to uni because I didn't get the grades I wanted to go to the uni I wanted. And then at the end, I was like, I don't even want to go to that uni anymore. So I took a gap year 
and I worked for the year. And then, yeah, I went to uni after that. Oh, I've got my, uh, my makeup brush all over my face. I know for a fact if I didn't go to uni, so I'm just, oh, by the way, I'm just using the Gorgeous Glow Collection blush. Um, But yeah, I know for a fact I wouldn't have met my closest friends if I didn't go to uni. I've met people that are just so like-minded to me. My bestest friends are ones that I've met through uni, so I definitely think I would not, well, I know I wouldn't have met them. I also probably wouldn't have met my boyfriend if I didn't go to uni because, yeah, I just feel like everything happens for a reason. The ways that we meet, like, people. This brush is awful, by the way. It just keeps molting. Um, the way in which we meet people, I definitely don't think I would have met him. So, you know, and then that would have been really sad. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't regret it at all. And I've had, like, an amazing four years. It's still been really fun. I just have a lot of work, which is why I moan all the time, because it's hard. Final year is hard. But yeah, no, I don't regret going to uni. And my opinions on uni is if you want to do it, then do it. If you don't, then don't, like, honestly. I don't think it's, like, essential at all for you to go to uni. Okay, someone asked, should I get back with my toxic ex? Girl. Girl, girl, girl. One, there is a reason they're an ex, and there is a reason you said they're toxic i i'm saying no <laughs> i feel like there is so much like well i don't I, I get my sources and all of my boy information mainly from the girls bathroom it's a podcast by sophia and chinton if you don't watch it then you should watch it because it's incredible um but i get all of my tips from them and people enjoy they say toxic relationships because there's just like constantly something and it's something like there's always emotions you know it's explosive and people thrive off that however it's not like the best kind of feelings and it's not the best kind of emotions and sometimes like it's really good and then sometimes it's not so good and people kind of thrive off that sorry excuse that noise but that is not a relationship that you want to be in. You want to be in a relationship where, you know, you feel good and yeah, like there's highs and obviously there's going to be lows, but it's not a toxic relationship. It's not one where you just crying all the time and the, the cons outweigh the pros, you know? Personally, I'm going to say no, you shouldn't get back with your toxic ex. <laughs> you should steer clear. <laughs> By the way, I'm just using the, I've just completely missed a load of products, by the way, that I was using. Um, I was using the Gorgeous Glow Collection Highlighter Stick, as well as the Collection Colour Lash Mascara. I just use it on my brows. I feel like this is such a thing that everyone knows about, and it's so good. Um, to go in with my brows, I'm using the Morphe Pencil, which is running out. I got it on Black Friday in a pack, and look how much is left. Nothing is left. And I love this pencil, so I'm going to have to get a new one. How long have you and your boyfriend been together for? We've been together for over two years now. Um, we got together, when did we get together? In February. So it's been two years and three months, three, four months. Yeah, so that's exciting. I had a lot of questions about him actually. Um, we don't live together. Someone asked if we live together. We don't live together, but hopefully that will be next year potentially we'll see but it'll be nice if we could at the moment we are just living our best lives traveling we've got another holiday booked this year which is really exciting um but yeah we are just thriving saving and thriving <laughs> um but yeah he's great but for powder by the way i'm going in with the collection press powder i really like this stuff it's really nice just mattifies what needs to be matte but still if I don't cover like, I can cover my under eyes and it won't go down onto my highlights. So it's still quite glowy. I like that. But this is a really good powder. And it's the only one that doesn't really like go cakey on me. And I like that. Somebody asked, what's the mid eyelash curler? Um, oh, a question's gone. Do you train on your period? And I never know what to wear to the gym when it's my time of the month. Any advice? Okay, so... I actually probably don't train a lot on my period. If you, if I track them, the first two days I won't train on my period because it's like awful 
the pain is just not very nice. The first two days are always the worst. And then I'll potentially go the third day. It'll be some like something quite light though. It'll be either a really low intense upper body day or it'll be some form of cardio. But I don't tend to train on my first two days of my period because it just knocks me out to be honest. I can't do mascara and talk at the same time. Wow. But no, I won't probably train the first two days. After that, I will. It's good to get your body moving. Um, when I say low intensity workouts, I also mean like Pilates and yoga, which just stimulates the blood flow. And then that should also help reduce period pains. But yeah, I look like an alien. Hey. As for what I wear to the gym, um, to be honest, I wear whatever's comfortable them, them times of the month. I tend to wear my tracksuit a lot when it's the time of the month just because joggers are so, like, I just am not restricting on the stomach because I don't want anything restricting because obviously I don't want to make the cramps worse. Um, and I tend to stay away from bright colours just in case anything happens, like I leak or something, I don't need to showcase that to the world. Um, so yeah, I do tend to wear darker colours. And if you're not feeling comfortable, just shove on a baggy t-shirt, shove on your joggers. Honestly, don't worry about what people think you look like. I go up rocking like I've just been dragged out of a hedge, but I'm just, you know, I want to move my body and I'm turning up for myself. So honestly, don't worry about what you think you look like. And here I can't talk again. Okay, there we go. I think this is like the majority of my makeup done. I was going to add a eye line, like a little bit of an eye line wing, but I don't want to get too sweaty and then it comes off. Okay, but that is it for the questions, but I'm going to show you what outfit that I'm going to choose to wear today. I'm going to take you through my drawer and we can choose an outfit. Okay, anyway, we need to pick an outfit. So, let's go to my drawer. Let's come to the drawer of gym clothes. And I was thinking about wearing my Be Able. I'm going to put you here. I was thinking about wearing my Be Able set, but I've worn it so much lately. And I don't think anyone wants to see me in it again. But it's this one it's the empower collection i have a code you can use at checkout to support me if you ever shop through able and a link i'll pop it in the description box and if you fancy getting yourself any goodies then please use my link and let me know and so i can give you a big thank you but yeah this is it and it's oh it's stunning i love it so much this is perfect for back day as well because it's got a little thin strap so that means you can just really like show off the gains but anyway um right what outfit am I wearing? I'm feeling like a bright colour today. So if I don't know if I want to wear my Abel, my Abel pink set, or do I wear my Honor Active pink set? I absolutely live in this set though. This is the thing. I feel like everybody sees me in this set and like, oh, well, what a shock. She's in the pink again. It's because I love it. It's just stunning. It's so flattering. This is the shorts. These are the, these are the, Classic 2.0, I believe. And then these are the timeless strappy bras. And I think I've got every colour in them, to be honest. What am I going to wear? Um, thinking maybe an able, an able outfit. I'm thinking getting one of the strappy bras out. I am unsure what I want to wear. This would be such a cute outfit, by the way. The black able bra with the brown empower shorts i'm just looking at it now and i was like that is such a cute little outfit i'm kind of tempted to wear that i might wear that she's going dark she wanted to wear light but she's going dark and don't mind me i'm just getting my underwear out look away please um got me socks got me clothes let's go get dressed okay the gym fit is on and you can't even see i need to lower the camera down okay can we see the gym fit. Oh, I think I've got it in. This is the gym fit. So look at the back, look at the back of this bra. Do you see what I mean about getting them gains in? Like it's, it's, it's just insane. And then these are the shorts. I'm actually obsessed with these shorts. I think they're so flattering. They just look so nice. But yeah, this is the gym fit and what we're wearing. I just think it makes me look really cute. I'm going to put you the other side, actually, in the mirror so you can see. <laughs> anyway, this is the gym fit. How cute. How cute. I'm actually obsessed with it. I never normally tend to wear dark colours, but I'm leaning more towards it at the moment. I don't really know why. 
it's just really cute and it makes these shorts are just like beautiful i feel like they're they're compressive but not too compressive so it's not like you know sometimes when you just feel really restricted in them and we're gonna do a little saucy upper body day i feel like lately my muscles have started to grow which i'm so happy about um i'm gonna pop you from well, what was i saying i was saying that oh, i feel like lately my muscles have definitely been starting to feel like they're growing which i am loving um started to, like i've just started to eat better to be honest and i've just been fueling myself with all the right foods for my body um but i've also just recently started undertake undertaking is that the right word I don't know I've also just started running and I've started implementing that into my training schedule 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 um so alongside weight training I've also just started to implement running into my training split I just feel like I want to really get better with my cardiovascular health I, I spoke about this on my Instagram and if you don't follow me make sure you can follow me because you'll see me chatting absolute rubbish over there all the time but yeah I've just wanted to like really improve on that and I ran my first 5k yesterday which sounds like such a little achievement to most people who can run but to someone i.e me that has never run in her entire life I was very proud it was the second time I went for a run and I was like I'm gonna push through I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and I did it and I was very happy. It was a monumental day. So yeah, I've now I've started implementing running and more cardio. So I did that after a leg day. What the hell? But I did it. I was very impressed. I'm going to change. Like, I'm not going to do that anymore. What I'm going to do is focus running on my upper body days. Obviously, that excludes today because I did that run yesterday and I don't want to kill off my legs completely. So yeah, I'm going to, from now on, only do my runs on upper body days. And not my leg days because it hurts so bad and i need to shut up now and go to the gym okay i'm in my car and we're about to go i'm just eating away at my squares bar i just put on my instagram story how much i genuinely can't be bothered to go to the gym right now though my motivation is at such a low like i genuinely just can't be bothered and this is where pure dedication and motivation has to pull through not motivation dedication and commitment needs to pull through and get me there so yeah, I also just put on this Muscle Mommy t-shirt over the top of my Able Fit. It's the new Evolve View Michaela range, 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 and I love it. It's so comfortable and soft. So yeah, we're going to go, we're going to smash today's workout, hopefully. If not, at least we still went out there and tried, you know? We've got to give ourselves that. We've got to be kind to ourselves. If it's not the best workout, we've still got to be kind to ourselves. But we just need to get going. Also, if you've not tried the fake squares bars and try them, they're really nice. This one's the chocolate caramel flavor and I love caramel, so it's just hitting the spot. But yeah, I'm gonna get going um, and hopefully have a great session. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and yeah, hopefully more videos to come because I'm really enjoying this whole YouTube thing. It's so fun, except the fact that my car, my car holder right now is blocking half my screen. Just notice that but we gotta go and I can't pre-record it. But yeah, love you all and I shall speak to you soon, I'm sure. Bye.